Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Arabella Tresca. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I am shooting a quick little video and some makeup dupes. I think it's my first video shooting some makeup where I'm showing you guys high end and what is very comparable at a low end price. I'm excited, it's my first time doing this. I tend to work with more high end product in general, um, but I've got a few um, products that are just so good from the drugstore, um, mostly from the drugstore that I thought it's time I show you guys some makeup. So let's get so started. So I'm excited to talk to you about the first product that I'm introducing is concealer. I actually have two concealer dupes, high end, low end to show you. And concealer is something that we all use, we all love. So I'm super excited to show you guys a couple different options of high end and low end. So the first one I want to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Liquid Concealer. So I was super excited when this first launched. I love the applicator on it and I thought it's a great idea because it's also something you can slip in your purse and great for touch ups. The problem with this and why I wouldn't purchase it again is number one, I know it sounds funny, but it is the hardest product literally to open. And every time I open, I get dirty or I, I get it on my hands or on the towel. So I'm gonna show you, I mean, it just, okay. For an expensive concealer, this should not be happening. What I do like about it is the applicator itself, I think is really cool. I like the pointy tip. I like that you can get it right into the, um, eye area here very easily into the lines here. So this is a great application and the product itself is really nice, but for what you're paying for this, I honestly would not buy this again. And one of the bigger reasons is because I can't get it to open. So as you can see with this, you turn it and then you kind of apply it and it's very skin like in the sense of the texture itself is quite nice. It's, um, think of a cream, Okay, mixed with a little bit liquid, but mostly cream. It's got a nice amount of coverage. It's not super drying. And I really like, overall, I like it. But the dupe on this is, as many of you know, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is a great product, super easy to open. Same idea, you turn it, it comes on a sponge. Yes, the applicator on this probably is a little bit easier to use with the point, but it's not a huge deal, not worth the difference in price, that's for sure. So with this, same idea, you turn it, and then you apply it in the areas what you want and you blend it in. So this is a lighter color, but in terms of texture, it's not a big difference. I will say the Charlotte Tilbury has a little bit more coverage than this, but not enough that again, it would make me wanna buy this over this because I could just apply two layers of this and get a similar coverage for a lot less and it opens easier. So the dupe for this is the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is in the color pale, but they have light. I think they have medium and even dark. Um, and again, I like the application of it. I like that it's sheer, uh, but it does give good coverage and I love that it's buildable. So with this, the coverage, yes, it's buildable, but it's fuller coverage right from the get-go. With this, you get a little less coverage that you can build so you can customize how much coverage you want. And I think most people are comfortable with starting with something with a lighter coverage and building it as opposed to going to fuller coverage and having to kind of blend it in a bit longer. So this is a great dupe for one another. Another concealer that we all know and love is the Tarte uh, Shape Tape. Now, I, I think that this is a reasonable price for the product that you're getting. There's so much product in here. The Big Fat Applicator, which I really, really love, um, is great, easy to apply. You can use this as concealer or even touch-ups, or you can use it even um, put it on your forehead and blend it down as you would a foundation. This, like I said, is very reasonably priced for all the product that you're getting and the fact that Tarte is a very good brand. However, if you're in Canada, very, very hard to find this. I think you can only get this in the States. So a dupe or lower price version of that, I really like the L'Oreal Infatible Full Aware. So with this, I'll show you in terms of texture. Let's do it here. This is a full coverage concealer. You can build it you can blend it right in, it applies really nicely, and it does give you great coverage. Same with this, okay, both light colors. In terms of getting um, coverage, they're very similar, like extremely, extremely similar. 
In fact, part of me almost wants to say this has like 0.5 more coverage than Maybelline, sorry, the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible, but extremely similar. And if you don't want to pay this price for it, and if you don't want to get, if you want to get in Canada and you're having a hard time finding this because it's only in the States, this is a really good option and you won't even notice a huge difference. All these products, of course, will be listed below so no worries if you didn't get the notes for this i will let you guys know about all the products moving on i would love to show you guys a lip gloss product so you guys know i love the tom ford gloss okay not that i love all the colors but this particular color is very very hard for me to find it's called um this one is called love dust it's the number 10 and it's a really beautiful i've used quite a bit a lot uh, quite a bit of it it's a really beautiful baby pink with a very cool undertone cool undertone means it has more blue in it beautiful for many skin tones especially if you're blonde blue eyes green eyes if you've got a bit of a tan it's okay too if you're really really dark you might find this a bit too cool looking and uh, not enough warmth in it but it's such a beautiful color i love this product because the texture of it seems very luxurious it smells wonderful it feels nice and creamy that's the part that makes it more expensive for me is the creaminess about it. Now, to be honest, spending $80 on a gloss, I do think is a little bit ridiculous, although this packaging is stunning and it's beautiful when you open it and you put it on, fantastic. But, huge difference in price. The NYX Butter Gloss, which is so, so, so creamy, it honestly mimics the tom ford without the smell of tom ford okay the tom ford smells better this is the color um vanilla cream pie and it's very similar to this the tom ford is a bit more sheer you'll notice this actually is a little bit more opaque but it's got that beautiful blue undertone this is a little bit more blue than this which actually most people i think would prefer this over this i like a very uh, baby pink blue cool undertone to a gloss but this one itself is very very similar and on the lips aside from the fact that yes this smells better and maybe feels a touch better this is very very comparable and this is like close to 80 dollars, and i think this is like you know, I don't know, eight, nine dollars. So really huge difference. The NYX butter glosses in general, I've really liked. Um, the ingredients are probably cleaner in a Tom Ford, but honestly, for a, a gloss that's under $10, they have beautiful choices of colors. They have really nice pink tones as well. Um, this again is the vanilla cream pie. And I think it's pretty comparable, especially in the sense of, I like this because it's a cream gloss. And this is also a cream gloss, so it doesn't feel sticky. In fact, it feels creamy and luxurious on the lips. So this is a great, great, great dupe for it. And then I also want to talk to you guys about highlighters. We all love using highlighters. And I um, I know a lot of people like the Char Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand. This is a really, really nice highlighter. I love this highlighter because it's easy to use. You open it, you apply it on the skin, you can do it on the eyes. I like the finish of it. I find whenever I wear this, even if I'm in a car or something and I catch my reflection, it looks really, really beautiful. If you are a darker skin tone, this probably would be too light on you, but light to medium to even medium tan skin tones can get away with using this as a highlighter. It's really nice. I'll show it to you. Okay, beautiful color. It's got this cream texture that kind of dries down but it doesn't look dry on the skin okay beautiful a little more on the expensive side as many of charlotte tilbury's products are but they are really good a great dupe for this the sephora uh, highlighters they call these their liquid highlighter just the sephora brand they have different colors they don't have a large selection i think they have three colors this color in particular is called solite sol number two and what I like about this one, you can use it as a highlighter, but almost a little bit as a blush too. Yes, it's a little bit darker than this one. I'll show you the color. It's a little bit darker than the um, Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's very, very similar in texture and quite similar in color, just a touch deeper. So if you are a little bit more tanned or darker, this actually would probably be very good for you. So you can see this has more of that frosty. This is more of a bronze, but the texture is very similar. This is the number two. They have a number one that's lighter, more golden, and a number three that I believe is more pinkier. This is kind of like a rose gold. So it's in between and it's really, really nice. 
And I, like I said, I love this because I can use it as a highlighter or I can use it as a blush and create a little bit of a two-in-one look where the highlighter and the blush kind of merge and marry each other. So great do for the Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighting wand is the Sephora brand liquid highlighter. These are gonna be completely different priced, a very reasonably priced. I wanna say this is like $13, which is amazing and you get so much of it. Um, in regards to this, I love it. Would I buy it again? Probably, but I would also buy this again. So it just depends how much you wanna spend and what color you like better. Hey, wait, I forgot to show you one more thing. I can't take credit for this. I saw this on um, the YouTuber Tati's channel. Uh, Barnes, Scott Barnes, JLo's makeup artist, showed this, and I went and bought the product immediately, and I have to share it because I love it. Now, body shimmer that you put on your decollete, your cleavage, we all love it, and we know that it can be quite expensive, and a lot of the time they're too sparkly, and they dry out and make it look like you have body makeup on, and nobody wants that. So, guess what I'm gonna show you? Instead of using makeup, go ahead and pick yourself up, believe it or not, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. This is so, so good. So Scott Barnes actually uses this on JLo right before she hits the red carpet because you wanna create this glow on the skin without making it look too sparkly or like makeup. So watch this. I'm gonna take a little bit, spray it on me, and then you can already see the glow that I'm getting. And the great part is once this dries down, it doesn't stay wet very long. Once it dries down, doesn't feel sticky, doesn't feel tacky, and you remain with this beautiful glow that looks like you're glistering without sparkle, without the look of makeup. If you have not tried this, I beg you, go try it and thank me later because you sure will. It is an incredible product, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. I don't have a dupe for it, the higher end, but we all know the higher end brands um, that every brand makes a body makeup, body shimmer type of thing. But I really, really like this one. I have one in my kit and I have one that I use personally. I love that I can easily spread it on myself and then protect this area um, with the SPF 45 and that my skin just looks so glistering and radiant and beautiful as you can see. So it's dried down and look how glowy it is. This is a product that I absolutely think you guys should try. So that is it for today, friends. It was a quick and short and sweet video. I hope that you love these dupes that I'm showing you. I really would love to know if you guys have already tried these or if you've gone out after watching this video and tried them. Please comment below. As always, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here with me. This is so much fun for me to be able to share these things with you. Please, if you haven't already, um, comment and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you next week. Have a wonderful day.